Welcome to our lecture online and here we're going to do a different kind of problem now. We have the problem that says how many three-digit numbers can be formed with the sample space where you have numbers from 0 to 9. And so there's some restrictions here. For part A, well, repetitions are allowed, but of course the first digit cannot be a 0 because you can't have a 0 starting out a three-digit number. On the second try, repetitions are not allowed, so you can't use the same number twice. On the third one, you can use the same number twice, but the last digit must be an odd number. And finally, there's no repetitions allowed, and the last digit must be an odd. So what are the number permutations in this case? Because order does matter, so we are looking for permutations. So for part A, since repetitions are allowed, the number of permutations is going to be equal to, let's see here, how many op options do you have for the first digit? Well, the first digit could be anything from 1 to 9, but not 0. That means there's 9 possibilities. For the second digit, since repetitions are allowed, there you can have anything you picked before, plus any of the numbers from 0 to 9, so therefore there's 10 possibilities. And, so, and again, for the third digit, there's no restrictions, so there's 10 different numbers you can pick there. And so in total, we have 900 permutations when you want to make a three-digit number with the numbers from 0 to 9. For part B, now we have a restriction. Repetitions are not allowed. So on the first try, on the first uh, digit, we can only have nine possibilities because we can't pick zero. On the second one, since we already picked one number, we can't repeat that number. Since we had 10 before, now there's one less available, so you can only pick nine for the second digit. And now since you pick two digits, we can, which cannot repeat, so two numbers are already taken, there's now only eight numbers left, and so therefore you can only put eight different possibilities for the third digit. So in this case, you have uh, 9 times 9, which is 81 times 8, so that's 81 times 8, which is equal to 640, plus 8, which is equal to 648 permutations with three numbers uh, coming up with a three-digit number when you cannot use repeats. On part C, the only restriction is that the last number must be odd. All right, so the permutation, number of permutations is 9 for the first digit. You can repeat, which means you have 10 possibilities for the second digit, but for the third digit, it must be odd. It can be repeated, but it must be odd, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 odds, so there's only 5 possibilities for the third digit. That's 50 times 9, or 450 possibilities. Now, what about if you cannot have any repeats and the last digit must be odd? So, part D, the number of permutations is equal to, again, for the first one, you can have nine possibilities. So, nine because it cannot be a zero. For the second digit, since you cannot have a repeat, other than that, it can be anything you want, you can have a possible nine numbers you can put in here because you can't repeat whatever you had in the first one. Now, in the last one, it must be odd. But in addition to that, you can already have taken anywhere from zero to two odds, so you only have either five possibilities, four possibilities, or three possibilities, depending upon how many you picked here. So if you already picked, if you picked no odds, then you can have five more possibilities at the end, so that's when you have the case with no odds were picked before. And so therefore, it's 9 times 9, which is 81, times 5, which is going to be 455, I believe, right? So let's see here, that's 45, 450, oh, let me try that again. <clears throat> I don't think that's correct. So 9 times 9 is 81, times 5, 5 times 8 is 400, 5 times 1 is 5, so that's equal to 405. That's a lot better. So no odds were picked. 405 permutations. But what if one of the first ones was an odd? So we have nine possibilities there, nine possibilities there, but now you'll have four possibilities if one odd was picked before. So in this case, you're going to have 81 times 4, 4 times 8 is 320, that would be 324 permutations. And finally, what if the first two numbers were odds, then how many permutations do you have? So permutation is equal to 9 times 9, that will not change, but now you'll have three possibilities left, because 2 would already be taken, you can't repeat, so therefore we have 81 times 3, which is equal to 243 permutations. So there we have three possible answers depending upon what happened before, and that's how we do that problem.